it is 6 31 p.m uh, monday july 17th currently right now gary fine is present as well as myself and our health agent Lisa Kelly. gail mcsweeney is out this evening due to a family illness that we found out about um early afternoon so with that being said we have signed the payroll last two payrolls this will be the last time this sitting board signs payroll it is now being taken over by the department of the municipal inspections the first item that i would like to take up is the approval of the board of health meeting meeting minutes dated june 5th 2007 as written do i hear a second are you making a motion? Or you I'm just, making a motion. I will second the motion to approve the minutes of June 2nd. All in favor? Uh, June 5th. June 5th, excuse me. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so with that being done, the agenda that had first come out basically stated that Mr. Thorne would be in attendance this evening to answer any questions or concerns that we might have in regards to as of July 1st, the conception of the Department of Municipal Inspections with the Board of Health now falling under. With Mrs. McSweeney being uh, out this evening, I have requested that we invite Ed Thorne back next week at our next scheduled meeting, which will be the 24th so that all board members have an opportunity to read the memo that is in your file from him in regards to the new conception of the inspectional services and he'll be here to answer any questions uh, we have a few minutes lisa before we have our 6 45 come in yes if you would like to um mm -hmm. What would be your pleasure? Well, why don't we start with the septic outbreaks at the three Pembroke establishments? We did have another um, overflow at one of those establishments. It was unexpected. It was responded to immediately by a pumper service hauler and addressed, and they have accelerated the pumping schedule to keep that from being a public health threat from once a month to every two weeks. Um, the other project, of course, being Pembroke Hospital, will be ongoing and lengthy for, for a great deal of time. Last but not least, Oldham Street, it looks like there's now some communication going on between this office and, and attorneys, so hopefully we're going to see some action over there as well. The, the establishment that you just said that had an outbreak, is that a private residence? No, is that, 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 is, that, is, that is an open to public re uh, situation that was immediately remedied, and, and now there's an, an accelerated schedule to, to keep up with that. Before the is that the Oak Street? Yes, that's Oak Street establishment. Correct. Oh, Cadet, Cadet is continues, the Cadet Bakery on um, Riverside continues to be monitored by professional service with a, a remediation plan to come before the board when they have one prepared. Private home violations update. <clears throat> again, as I mentioned, Oldham Street, we're beginning to have communication again um, from, from attorneys, so we expect to, to see some movement there. The inspections done up on Scusit um, continue to be remediated appropriately. Um, so at this time right now, our, our private home uh, issues seem to be moving forward rapidly, which is a good thing. So everything's going in the right direction? It's going in the correct direction. Never as fast as we'd like, but certainly better than no movement. So that private home, that's singular, Lisa? No, there's, there's, there was two homes in question, two apartments and a single family home. Um, all our the two apartments are <coughs> fully repaired at this time. I have to reinspect and the the home we are now commu communication is open again as and to what, what is the future of that house. And those two apartments are located on School Street, mm -hmm. correct. correct? Correct. In the village, yeah. Yeah. Office activity while you were on vacation? Uh, you'd have to ask Sheila. I have no idea what it was like on vacation. I only got I only got thirty texts. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> okay. Wasn't too bad. Lisa scared everybody away. <laughs> no, I, I just I just informed very nicely all of our routine visitors that if they could work with this office and, and delightfully two installers came and did their paperwork today, so we have ongoing installations. They they accommodated our request that they could try to work elsewhere when I was unavailable and work here when I was and 
and yeah. it would seem that those gentlemen are doing their best to honor that. And just to make clear for the record, there was um, somebody as there is a coverage. standby coverage yeah. while you were out. But obviously for, for both the town as well as the installers, that is problematic because then it's a much longer turnaround time from inspections and from ins uh, you know assistance. So it makes uh, good sense to everybody mm -hmm. to accommodate that. But yes, we do have standby coverage when I'm not available. Moving right along. Oh yes. Did you have a question? I did not. Okay. Well, thank you for Perfect. asking. Perfect. You're quite welcome. Manure complaint on Priscilla Drive. I was by there today. It continues to improve. There is absolutely no visible pile and no uh, odor that can be detected from from the street or the front yard of the premise. You were there today. Did you go? Uh, I didn't walk all the way back. I did not see the homeowners present, and I didn't want to invade their privacy okay. inappropriately. Um, but the trailer is there. It does appear there is no fresh manure of any kind, so it does uh, appear they they are uh, responding appropriately to all the board's requests. When did you last have correspondence with them? Three weeks ago, when I performed their barn inspection, was oh. the last time I actually talked with them. Okay, and I, I saw on the property. Okay, thank you. I saw on the minutes from the 19th. I was absent from that meeting, but I saw on the minutes that you had gone there on your own chair I that day. Yes. Did you go in the back? I did. Okay, so we did a visit when Lisa was with us. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the size of the pile? I think it's remarkable. Um, how much less? How much oh, yeah. less? I mean, almost, I would... It, it's getting to be negligible. Yeah. At this point. Looking at it, it, to me, yeah. it now appeared, or but it more did importantly, appear. The odor that was coming from the new manure, because that is being taken off site right away, there is no <coughs> odor associated with it. it it's leaving. So. It looked like a, a small it looked flat. mound. Yeah, it looked very flat as opposed to the hill that yeah. it looked like before. You I mean, didn't, it's, you didn't it, it's feathered it. right in. You didn't see the neighbor? No, I did not. Okay. No, I did not. Sheila, have we had any correspondence from the neighbor who... I have not. Okay, so we're good. Or we're at least moving in a positive direction. Yeah, that, that's that, that, that Delightful. Okay. Uh, were you able to do any work on the um, changing speed? The uh, DPW poop bags for? I have not. I only dogs. just saw Mr. Clark literally as I was walking in the building just okay, now. And I know that they're meeting and he, of this course, evening. Is the, yeah, exactly. He, of course, is the conservation agent. And I have made mention to both um, the director la you know, before I left and then to him just now. So hopefully we can see okay. some, some movement. So why don't we table that and bring it up at our next meeting, um, which will probably be next week, Lisa? Yes. Okay. Uh, we don't have anything on that agenda yet, so that's going to be at the, the will of the board. Yep. So I'd like to put that on that one for now, subject to change, but if we could do some yep. checking with um, Compound about that. Gary, we have um, previously been given by Sheila the animal, the current animal license fees in regards to raising any of the fees? Something like this. Correct. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? Are you prepared to uh, ask questions, deal with it? Did we have any discussion at our meeting? We did that? not because um, I believe Lisa was not here. Correct. And we wanted to table it until we could have her actually here. Okay. So this is a topic. This is one of the. Uh, this is one of the fourteen. Yeah, gang of. Gang of fourteen. Gang of fourteen. Correct. The only issue I have with it being its own individual topic. Should we raise the animal license fees and? <coughs> excuse me. It goes on to further talk about one to nine chickens max fee of twenty five. I think. If we're going to discuss it, my thought would be, and I'm just looking at the form mm -hmm. that was put in our packet this evening, poultry, bovine, equine, rabbits. I'd like to see a discussion uh, on, on all the animals, if you will, singularly, uh, excuse me, rather than singularly. I think it makes a little more sense. So I'm certainly not suggesting we don't have a discussion this evening, I'm happy to do that, but I, I, I think we should look at these collectively, the rabbits, equine, bovine, and, and poultry. Um, so it's not, so as we look at the fees, consider raising them, lower, lowering them, leaving them as is, I, I think it would look 
a little piecemeal if we break it up. So and, and what had been given to us um, several weeks ago is this document surrounding Tom's livestock fees. Could you repeat that, please? I said what had been given to us weeks ago was this document yeah. surrounding town livestock fees that Sheila's worked diligently on in regards to what other towns are doing. Yeah. Um, you have and then we have the final, we have our own already livestock schedule with fees. So I guess it was just a question as regards to clarifying the chicken quantity and then either raising, leaving, or changing the others. Madam Chair? Yes. The question on the, the zero to nine chickens, the reason that was singled out, is that we say zero to nine chickens are free. And then when the tenth chicken, you're supposed to pay for all ten. And people will send in 50 cents for the tenth That's chicken as opposed to which is five dollars. That's so, uh, you wanted to kind of clarify that regulation. Well, when you talk about uh, no fee for the first that's how it is now. Zero to ten, but the, the same thing holds ten. true with the rabbits where, if, if I'm interpreting the form correctly, zero to five, no fee. If, yes. So it's, con so it's consistent with the The poultry. point is I think we need to eliminate that because if someone has just one or two rabbits or just five or six chickens, it still requires the same inspection as someone with two dozen birds. I don't disagree. It's, it's the same time. And, and maybe rabbits didn't come to the forefront because... Oh, I didn't register my we rabbits. We just don't have a lot of rabbits in, in Pembroke. We really don't. It, it, the, the number of rabbits is very, very, very low. Because those are mainly for the rec uh, uh, for personal pet usage. Correct. Versus, versus producing. Livestock. They don't produce we do, I don't, don't anything, but they rapidly have, produce we themselves. We two people farming rabbits as a farm practice, and I'll leave it right there for the, mm -hmm. for the public at large. But no, the vast majority of rabbits in Pembroke, the, the few that are left in there, don't, doesn't seem to be a lot, are pets. But, but yes, there are two people farming rabbits. For other than a pet. They purpose. are not pets, they are farming. Okay. Um, so with that being said. Mr. Rock, um, you if you, what you, when you're ready. Okay, great. So I guess if um, it's taking a look at them separately, I would like to be fully ready to review and vote next Monday on the 24th in regards to the fee schedule on animals. All of them? All of them. So do, we have do, to keep do, agree, clear. do you agree looking do at I, them? Do I agree? Um, or would you rather just look, look at the... Look look at them individually, but do you want to look at them collectively as a group? Well, we can look at them collectively as a group. My opinion is the only one that I think that we have a discrepancy with at this point and is chickens and roosters. <laughs> roosters continue to be an issue. That's my opinion. What, what Sheila was saying is the 50 cents when they take bird nine becomes bird 10. They owe then not 50 cents, but they owe five. The thinking when the, the low number of birds was free was simply if someone had a pet or two or a child raised a chicken in class or whatever and brought it home, that someone would have to pay a fee for what would amount to a pet bird. What we're finding is, unfortunately, with that particular livestock rule, there is, there's no other way to put it, there's abuses. It, it's pure and simple number games being Abuses, someone says, I have eight, when in reality they might have And 19. very often, that's exactly what I go out and find, that, that, that people had put a lower number of birds than they actually possess when I get out on site. And it's very easy, as Sheila can tell you, it's very easy to tell pullets from adult birds. It's not like, oh, I just happened to get, you know, a couple of chicks. You, you have a good nine months before a younger chicken looks like a regular chicken, and it's very obvious a pullet in a growing, immature chicken from a mature bird. So does it take you any more time, and I don't have chickens, I don't understand it, you have to go out and inspect. If someone has one bird or 24 birds, the time to inspect is pretty much the same. 
pretty much because you, you have to go out and check food, water, coop, um, shelter, and are they contained? So the same checklist for one bird applies. So you're not physically bird. getting down and examining the animals. No, it's a visual. It's a light visual examination. The only thing the state is asking us to do on that inspection is to make sure the animals are appear to be disease disease free. Um, I wish I could say this was the state was caring for the well-being of the animals, that that isn't the, the point of a livestock inspection. It's to prevent human disease contamination. Annual inspection? Yes. But your point in regards to the fact of looking at each one now that we or we're waiting for the final uh, ratification of the town meeting right to farm? We, I believe we're still waiting for we're that. We're still waiting for that because it hasn't taken into effect even though it's been voted, am I correct? No, because it, the Attorney General hasn't has ratified. Hasn't has ratified it. Hasn't ratified town meeting at all. So anything that passed it town town meeting meeting is not been. currently in effect. So people as a right to farm may start having more of these. Yeah. Okay, so why don't we do this? Let's go back to my last my statement was is our next meeting on the 24th I would like to be able to hold on that agenda going through each one separately and discussing and voting on the motion. animal fees. Do I hear a second? That was a motion. That was a motion. Okay I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then I'd like to um, stop where I am right now, and I would like to, uh, we have 43 Kings Terrace. Yes. Are you Dick? Yes. Come on in. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Rockwood's been working very diligently with a client on a, a decking issue at a, at a home that, that needs remediating, and unfortunately we couldn't find any way to accommodate what needs to be done for Thank access you. to the house without requesting a variance, so he has prepared, prepared careful drawings to potentially show what can be done. Yeah. Okay. Jake, you yes. are the... Uh, I'm doing the architectural work okay. uh, for the owners. Uh, young couple, they have this uh, property that... Uh, I, I have a couple of various drawings here, so you might inform me as to what you want to complete uh, this for your approval, but I have the uh, JNC engineering which showed the house and showed the septic, and I also included the as built septic. Actually, I have, I have the larger plan, but I, I, it shows where the tanks are. And so basically, our deck is encroaching like a foot mm -hmm. to two feet. Mm -hmm. uh, it varies a little on the, on the plans and scale. Uh, the one I did, which is my top drawing, the architectural plan, I took that right off the as built if I may. And I swung yes. my, I actually swung my arcs and located the tank. And um, and that's a, what we're asking for is a 12 foot deck off the back of the house. Uh, one of the plans uh, from one of the surveys showed a proposed garage. Mm -hmm. And there is a garage back there now. So I don't, I don't have one that so shows that's that's already exact. within. Yeah, and it's behind the structure. Right. And in front of the field. In front of the field, it's a pump chamber system that pumps uphill. So when they come in their driveway, there is a door that they kind of, they don't use it daily, but, you know, to get around <coughs> to go into the garage. So this was the only configuration of a deck that made sense. And they literally have to go out their kitchen door on the side and walk around to the deck in the back which is about four, four and a half feet above the ground. How big is it currently right now? There is none. Uh, there's, it's over here, there was a plan that says deck, but that was cut off when they finalized the garage. So there's so no my existing yellow, deck? I, yeah, yes, there is actually. It's this part of, it's half of that what said existing deck. It's this little tiny deck right here on the side. It's literally a oversized landing to get into the building. But the, the, what's the little white area, if you will, is that Someone right had it as an existing deck, and I believe that was before they uh, built the garage. So the so this... That little piece right there is the deck. existing. This is yes. nothing. Correct. Well, Correct. Okay. And so that, I'd like to be able to come out around the back, and then that's where they wanted to have their deck to sit out in the yard. Mm. 
and, and, and go ahead. I, and my front page, this was my drawing here, and I took all the measurements over there. If I came out to 12, and actually it was 14 feet in total a few hours ago, <laughs> they said, well, let's cut it back because it was encroaching a little more. But I think most importantly, this side view here represents the height of the deck, the existing grade, and the tank level um, so that someone could still get at the covers because I still have four feet of clearance. What we propose to do, not your typical run the beam across this way, but to run a beam that way, run a beam that way, and frame this way in between. So that gets me flush framed up here. So I will have four feet of clearance under my framing. I'm not going to have, you know, my framing and then a beam below it like a lot of decks would. Mm -hmm. So I would have 48 inches to get to the cover that, I, you know, it's almost the center of the covers at the edge of the deck, but it's, uh, right. and the other thing is, uh, Lisa had advised me was to keep my uh, peers five feet away. Mm -hmm. We had a discussion of how, how could we try to accommodate their access needs, yet still protect this tank. This was the best compromise. The deck proposed was bigger. We both talked. We agreed that, unfortunately, that would be a bit excessive in this gift, given situation. I asked him about elevations, which he was kind enough to put on, to show that while it isn't ideal access, that access could still be made without extreme measures, and that the footings would be kept as far away and hand dug to make sure that that um, tank is protected. And unfortunately, because it being a pump system, it's not like you can even push the tanks back, even if the homeowner was willing to take them out and push them back. You couldn't because you couldn't fit enough room for the, for the two tanks. Because they have to have two tanks, obviously it's a pump system. So uh, these are very nicely drawn, and thanks for dumbing it down or blowing okay, it well, out. Okay, well, I do but it for myself too. But, <laughs> I, I, but I'm, looking for yeah. the, I'm looking for the actual variances that you're looking for, and, and I, like, Am I missing? Am I? Is, is there anywhere on these plans? There, what the, uh, am I? there aren't any variances. He's just asking um, us to um, the f the deck footing setback variance. So, so it's just a single variance. It's just, just a look, single. There is a, so there is a variance. There is, but it's just it's not as if we are looking at plans from a septic design. I understand. I yeah. just want to see if there were any other. Yeah. Um, how, how big is this deck? What's it? Uh, <coughs> the main rectangle of the deck is 12 feet off the house. I have it 18 feet across. 18 across. Okay. I, I just have a clue because I'm looking. I'm looking at the way that the and I know that you've got a 48 inch clearance. Clearance. Uh, from this tank, the top of it, the cover. From the ground. From the ground. Right. The tank's probably another 12 inches below. Okay. Question. Yes. Can you lose two feet from the back of the deck over the tank and add it to the end of this house? This way. It's just the functionality of the deck. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. it becomes 10, and by the time you have a table and chairs to get off the, at the other end, um, as I say, it, it, it was, we had talked 14, and then we decided to go in the 12. Uh, I don't I want to interrupt you. Yeah. What, what I think the board is missing, because it's not your plan here, this property rises up. Part of the purpose of this deck is to make it so that you don't have to come down the front and walk around to get up to the garage. It's so you can actually access the backyard. This isn't just a deck for, unless I'm misunderstanding, this isn't just a deck for decorative purposes and I want to sit, although that is one of the client's intentions. Right now they have to come out the front of their house and go around to even get into their yard. This is also about accessing the yard. So while they're going to have a table and chairs, this is also the means. Right now they have to come out the front of their house and go around. Um, King's Terrace sits on a hill. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, you're probably familiar with mm -hmm. it. been up there. So this isn't just a, a decorative thing and this isn't just, and I agree um, with, with the architect, that if you bring this forward, you're almost going to eliminate the ability to have a usable deck because you're going to have to leave that four foot walkway, if, if for lack of a better term, to be able to use this deck to come off the side to be able to access the backyard without walking around. But that's that's the last. I just want to. Mm -hmm. okay. So. 
So it's 18 by 12. Mm -hmm. And part of that, if I may, was to get my footings away from the tank. Which is now, you are how many feet away from I put the bottom of the footing five feet away from the tank. Five feet away from the tank. And actually, if you look at it in that little cross section that I put on that sheet, mm -hmm. me, this right here, that's, you know, looking this way, I mean, at the bottom of the footing, if we use those precast ones, they're five feet tall. Mm -hmm. So you have to have four feet in the ground and 12 inches out. So I'll be about two feet, let's say, higher than the bottom of the tank, but that's five feet away. And the bearing pressure on the footings sort of, you know, works as a 45 degree angle. So um, safely with any pressure, another extra couple of feet away from the tank. But it's, it's five feet right. away from the footings. Right. Lisa, can I ask you a yes. question, please? Any of these covers, especially the one that half is under the structure, is there any problem with any type of a septic pump? No, I think company. No, any huh? decent company should be able to access. It's a hose, it's a four-inch hose. What happens if this, if something happens to this tank and it has to be? They dug would up? pipe through it. They would, they would not dig this tank up. My expectation, when we've encountered this in the past, a good installer would then cut off the sanitary T, pipe through, and move that tank laterally out to the side rather than try to replace it in place. And they'd fill it with what we call flowable filter. Mm -hmm. In, in circumstances where we've had this come up, mm -hmm. that would be the proposed solution. Because that's a big concern yes. to me, is this, you know, future, mm -hmm. you know, it's all well and good that we have a nice deck, you know, to have access and to enjoy, but when it comes down to what we're dealing with, we and I made that sure clear. that it's all... Mr. Rockwood and I talked to make that clear to his client, too, that while this would be a workable solution, that it was not a optimal solution, mm -hmm that they understand that down the road when, when the system may or may not have to be dealt with that this would create some challenges that, that could you know increase the cost of a septic system down the road. Do we know when this septic system was put in? It is a relatively newer one, that's why we didn't Neural suggest tinkering. Okay. It's less than 20 years old. I want to say it's like 10 I, I, off the top of my head, but it was new enough that we wouldn't want to be redoing any portion of it. Mm -hmm. Did you know how old the house is, roughly? The it has to be 40 years old. Oh, that, na that whole neighborhood was built yeah. in the 60s. Sorry? That whole neighborhood was built in the 60s. 1963. Thank you. 50 years ago. Thank you. Time flies. Time flies when you have a baby. All right. Any questions? No further questions. Okay. Uh, 1963. You have a feeling? I have the assessment. Okay. Um, I'd like to make a motion to accept the drawings as submitted for 43 King's Terrace by Dick Rockwell. Wood. Do I hear a second? So in, in your motion, are you making a motion that we accept the approve the variance? Yes. Okay, I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. You're welcome. May I ask? Um, We're going to actually keep one. We'll keep sure. the folder. For documentation, is this okay as far that, as That is acceptable to this office, yes. Okay. That would be appropriate. And okay. if you have your building permit with you based on this board's vote, I'm fine. Yeah, I, I still have to do that. Okay, you have to do your thing, then do yeah. your thing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. I know that this was a long process for you and your clients expressed that this office appreciates them understanding how the, the gravity of the situation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ready for a rooster? All five? I believe all our parties are here. All parties are here. Come on in. Alright, 
Hello. Hi. Um, I think Lisa, I mean, not Lisa, um, Sheila, did she have all of you sign in? No. Nope. No? Okay. When she comes back, we'll have you all sign in. I just need to let you know that we are videotaping. Um, well, we are not. The, the Pembroke Town yeah. News is, is oh, recording. Thanks. Are you sure? I am. So Thank you. if you wouldn't mind all stating your name for the record, we would greatly appreciate it. Well, ladies first. Kate from Barney. Thank you. Hi, Kyle. Dr. Stucci. Rich Restucci. Okay. Wonderful. And Rich. Rich Restucci. Yes. Yep. a complaint that was issued um, in regards to 94 Medication Street. Thank you all for coming. We're hoping that we can kind of help resolve any ongoing uh, issue uh, previously or moving forward. So I'd like to basically start on it if you and Rick would like to let us know what's sure. going on. We sure. kind of have a background okay. um, information. Yeah. Um, so I'll give you the floor. All right. Uh, a few years ago, Caitlin came over to us and asked if we might if she got some chickens. We had no problem with the chickens. And I know when you get the baby chicks, sometimes there's a boy in there while we started hearing crowing. She knew from the beginning when she asked for the chickens that we said, you know, roosters, please. Our properties are too close together. Our houses are too close together to have roosters. She absolutely agreed to that. Now she has five roosters, and it's they compete. They nonstop crow. They start at 4:30 in the morning, and they pretty much go all day. You get a break every now and then, but they go all day. I have um, pictures of our property if you'd like to look at. I also have two letters. Um, one from the neighbor next to us. You want to see this? Mm -hmm. And one from. Her previous landlord who also stated that twice she has been asked to remove the roosters while she was a tenant there um, we have spoken several times on this and she'd always agree that she'd do something to get rid of the roosters very nice to us but never did anything even Lisa went over a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago told her about the complaint and she promised she would do something she even has it in writing here to Rich a correspondent back and forth in Facebook that she would do something and she hasn't done anything to keep the roosters quiet mm -hmm. I'm sorry it came to this, Caitlin. I am. I mean, we our kids play together on this. Um, these photographs too. Of course, our houses and all the pens. She's got at least at least a dozen pens out there, coops up there with all of her. Oh, sorry about the wood. We live on Mattakesa Street. They took down trees. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is taken from your my background. deck. Yep, that's her house. That's right on my deck. That's our club. that's standing on my deck. And we do know that Lisa went out there mm -hmm. and yes. did a walk of the property. Yes. And your findings at that point was... Other than the male birds themselves, there are no violations at the property. All the animals are being kept appropriately there. Her property is meticulous. Her, her property, everything about the animals, the husbandry of the animals, the containment of the animals is appropriate. Mm -hmm. Personally, when I was at the property, the, the, the roosters were not crowing. I was at the property on three different occasions. I personally did not hear it. I personally did not observe it. I will say that we did have a discussion. The geese were actually the loudest things mm -hmm. when I was oh, there. Yeah, well, that's what started this, too, is that she bought the house, I don't know, maybe eight months ago, less. And when I had the landlord who would help me, you know, she would, uh, the roosters are starting again. It all started. She came to us one day. I guess there was a complaint. She was upset because she's got goats, too, and the landlord found out about all of her animals and said they all have to go. When she came over, she was upset. I know when Jen, from when Jen used to live there before she moved, I gave her a call and we came to a compromise. Let Caitlin keep her goats, let her keep around 10 chickens. The animals don't bother us, really. It's the roosters. So it was a win-win. She got to keep her goats and her 10 chickens. We got the roosters out of there. We were happy. Twice Jen had to do that. Once, I think, in 2015, she got rid of her roosters. Then they all came back again around 2016. The landlord stepped in again. She got rid of her roosters. Now that she owns the property, I, I've got nowhere else to go to but to you guys to look for help. A month ago we saw the geese come in 
Now we've got roosters and geese. And our properties are just too close and too small. Okay, let's see this too. This is we're on 90 Matakese. Mm -hmm. That's that's it's long and skinny, so it's very close. And most of her pens, as they are very, very clean, but they're all on our side of the property. So I go outside to read a book or something and I've got the five roosters competing with each other. I do have video, audio of the roosters. That, that's okay. Is, is 94 Medicaid, it is, it, Caitlin, is this entire property cleared? Yes. The entire eight, quarter acre this is cleared? Three quarters of an acre. Three quarters of an acre. Okay. Um, yeah, I think there's like another 10 feet out back. Okay. All right. And they're literally up on the property line. And more than 150 feet from the house. Mm -hmm. um, I know Elise was there. Not a single one made peep. Right. And that's what they do all day long. Um, okay, well, excuse me. You leave for work at 6:30 in the morning. You don't come home. I'm home all day long, and that's I all have I have every single other neighbor has signed that you cannot hear my bird. This is on her, which I brought a different map. So I'm here. I got every single one around me except for her to say that no, they're not a problem. Every single one. I went to all my surrounding neighbors and none of them have a problem. Um, I know with the complaints before, the first complaint came from their daughter who lives in the illegal apartment in their garage. Okay, let, let's, um, okay, I, I don't wanna, okay. I just wanna kinda keep, okay, we're roosters, right. animals. Right. That's so. I don't want to make accusations because she likes to sleep. She liked at the time to sleep all day, mm -hmm. so she, and she doesn't have any type of air circulation in her room. So she would have her window open. Mm -hmm. It is on that side of the house, but also when I purchased the house, within one week, I paid three hundred dollars to have all of my animals move down back. So to say that I haven't tried to do anything, I also took a lot of her suggestions. I put in. I have pictures. I've added doors to all the coops. There's one coop that we're trying to figure out an idea for. And the thing you have to realize with roosters, they're animals. You cannot take a dog, put it in a car, and shut the doors. It's illegal. So to say the same thing about a bird, that we're just going to close them in, they need air circulation. Anyone knows that for quality of life, you cannot coop them in. You cannot do it. So I have closed them all in. I've added doors so they're closed in at night. I have noticed that if I let them out at 6 o'clock in the morning, it's basically they're itching to get out. As soon as I let them out at 6, they're quiet all day. She was there for about a half an hour. No one made a peep. They're quiet all day. Now, if the neighbors shoot pellet guns off their back deck, mm -hmm. all hell gets mm -hmm. raided. Mm -hmm. it's, it's legal, but all hell breaks loose in my backyard. And I have a dog that's been shot. I don't appreciate them shooting guns off their back deck. I have an autistic dog that has been shot. I have two other abused dogs that the noise has stressed them out. Their kids playing in the backyard, I'm fine with. They can do whatever they want. But the yelling, the screaming, and the cursing, and the also, it's more the fact that they, I don't even care about that. It's mm -hmm. the fact that they bark and they crawl over the fence and they wonder why the animals are crawling back. They think it's funny to crawl over the fence and the animals all crawl back. And then they take videos. Like, you can't do, you can't have it both ways. Like, my animals are quiet. I took in the geese because my friend had to move. He had no one to take them. I took them in. They yell when I come outside because they want food. Again, they sleep all day. They just sit there and perch all day and do nothing. So these are animals that they're doing what animals do. And the fact that I also have it on my phone, that a quote off his Facebook, that if a mouse were to fart a half a, a, half a mile away, he's going to wake up. So he's stating that he's going to wake up no matter what. He found an excuse. Mm -hmm. to get rid of my animals. So again, well, I think I, I first think, complaint, yeah, I'm sorry, the Honestly, first complaint yeah. was from her house, which mm -hmm. they denied it to my face for two years. That's which because I we didn't know about that day one. I knew about it, and then the second complaint <coughs> was my ex-boyfriend who I have a restraining order on. He can't make a complaint. He doesn't live there. It was just another form of harassment. Well, I, so I, I, I don't know. Let me, let me just interrupt you there because you, you mentioned something about Facebook, and, yes. and I have to tell you, well, we may not respond at all to anything put on Facebook mm -hmm. um, as a sitting board. Mm -hmm. Believe me, we're, we're seeing it. Right. Um, I don't think it did anyone 
any good mm -hmm. in regards to what went back and forth right. over an issue that became, I think, toxic at several points. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, I'm glad it came down. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is but this where is also on their personal page where they have everyone called to call the MSPCA and PETA and all this. So everyone's like throwing me over my yard being a mess. No, my yard's not a mess. You okay, gotta well, eat off my ground. Number one, we know we, we've made a statement, we've agreed right. with our health agent as well as the neighbors that the yard is very well maintained. So we agree with that too. It is. Okay. So what brings us here is is that we have Five roosters. Mm -hmm. Lisa, what I remember an instance that we had back when that the rooster wasn't in some type of a soundproofing or Yeah, the woman insulated the coop and it, it wasn't that it was airtight. She insulated the coop and added a roof vent and two two right. what they call them, A line end vents. And that severely dampened the noise. And, and keep in mind that roosters are not required to be quiet during the day. They are required to be quiet um, before 7 a.m. on weekdays, after the sun goes down on weekdays, and, and 8 a.m. On, on the weekends. So what this particular person that, that did that, that was very attached to their rooster um, was she did uh, insulate the coop and um, then put uh, glue on so that the, the rooster couldn't eat the insulation, obviously. Um, provided roof vents and the bird was locked in at night and she was diligent about locking it in uh, as soon as the sun went down and she was diligent about not letting it out before 7 a.m. on weekdays and 8 a.m. on weekends. Mm -hmm. This satisfied that particular neighborhood. Um, as, as the board's aware with all other rooster complaints, uh, pretty much every time it's come up the, the owner of the rooster has, has chosen to eliminate the rooster from the flock. This was just the only instance I could think of where the people were very determined to keep the rooster and took all those steps. Um, to make the rooster not a nuisance for the abutters. May I say something? The key word is rooster. We've got roosters. Well, that's where my next question Well, three of them are two pounds. They don't even okay. do a full crow. They literally, it's like a muffled sound 24 7. And if they're in the house, those ones you don't hear. And I have added the doors as well as I have the siding where I'm going to, instead of doing the insulation, because they will pick and eat it and it's toxic. So I can't obviously risk that. So what I'm doing is adding additional siding to the outside of the pens. And I'm one person. I work full time, but I have already done this. Where I paid three hundred dollars to move my barn, and I did it within one week of move, buying the house. I didn't have that money, but I made sure because I did make a promise to them. And you made a promise you wouldn't get any at all. That, so you work full time. I don't understand why. But you, you need five roosters. Are you reading them? To to the board. I'm sorry. I, uh, I don't so understand why she, she has the five roosters. She interrupted me. Um, yes, and I've only had the animals for three years, so I don't, four years isn't true. Three years, and actually, no, I've only had the roosters for two years, because the first year I only had the six hens. Then the following summer, I got a different breed, and I did get a few roosters. I rehomed a couple, but I kept them because I breed them. So you need to have a rooster, um, which I have gotten in the testing. I want, I want to ask a question right off of that statement before I forget. Yes. How many roosters does one chicken or hen? I have three different breeds. Okay, but how many roosters does it take to do its job? One per like eight chickens, six chickens. One per eight or six? Yeah. Okay, because I was doing some reading and it was like one rooster could handle they could. 40 they, and yeah. boom, boom, boom. Uh -huh. I don't think you have a big enough active amount. Okay. Um, Kate, how long have you lived in the home? As four a, years. Uh, five years. So four, five, years four years. So you started out as a tenant. Yes. Okay. When you started out as a tenant, and I'm looking at the letter, I'm not sure if it's from the property manager or from the land, from your the owner. owner of the home. I owner. had permission from the land, not the landlord. I had permission from the rental agency. Okay. To, to what? Hand to have all of my animals. Okay, so I'm, I'm just okay. reading the last sentence in the letter. Another complaint was made on around April 19th. My property manager was informed, informed again and Caitlin was told to get rid of the roosters. Right. Did you get rid of the roosters? I never got rid of the roosters. Okay, so the roost, the five, never, roost, the yes. five roosters. No, that you, I only had one then. Okay, so the I'm one rooster that you had when you were rent, were renting, 
you still have that rooster. No, he died because, again, I tried to use a crow collar, and he broke his neck trying to get it off, and that was her pet. Okay, so I'm looking for a little bit of clarity, if you could help me. Okay. Was there a, and it might have even been a casual discussion, I'm not saying it was a letter or it was an agreement with an attorney there, but was there ever a discussion with your neighbor where you said you would not get roosters? In the very beginning, before he even got chickens, I was like, oh, no, I don't want to listen to that either. But it was more humoring them. But I didn't well, want wait, roosters. So that back. was a yes. You did right. say, okay. Yes. So when, before. when you got roosters, or when you decided had, to, prior to getting them, did you have any conversation with your neighbor? Look, I'm thinking about getting roosters. Was there any discussion, or did you we just... We didn't say I was going to get roosters. At that point, I was just getting chicks, and then one turned out to be a rooster. And you get attached to them. They're like any other pet. They come over to see you when you come home. You get attached to them. Um, with, at that one, it was just the one. He did crow. Again, he's dead because I put a crow out. So I've done multiple things, and I'm still working on it. And I've already, she told me to do, like, add the fences, which I plan on doing, but they've been complete garbage ones, the ones I've been looking at because I can't afford new fences. So I have been, but the big thing is they're also 100 feet back where she showed the picture of our I'm house. I'm still looking for the answer to my okay. question. So when you got your chicks, one turned out to be a rooster. Right. Did you have a conversation with your no. neighbors about getting a, an addition, additional roosters, which are now a total of five? No. So, okay. But they would always just laugh. Like, I, I would yell at friends, any problem? No problem. Like, I didn't know until they actually, this one complaint was the first time I knew they had a problem with their rooster because they always laughed it off before. So I really thought everything was fine until I got this complaint. <coughs> And again, they said they never complained before. It was their daughter who complained before, and my ex-boyfriend. So no, I did not know they were the ones complaining, or that it was their household. Before you speak, mm -hmm. Lisa, yes. just clarify, how many times have you been out to the property? I did not go out to the property on the initial complaint because it was made by the property management company, <clears throat> and it took several phone calls before I actually spoke with the owner of the home. Um, at that time, the owner of the home had said that they were interested in liquidating the property and Caitlin had come in and said she was interested in buying the property. So before all the animals were moved, I went back to the homeowner and said, do you need these animals removed if she is purchasing the property? And she's like, well, no, but if she doesn't purchase it, I need them off there so I can sell it. And I understood what she was saying, but obviously since she basically dropped her complaint, obviously Caitlin did manage to work out whatever it was in order to purchase the property. Property owner, I, I, I wasn't going to work with the property management company because that's right. an individual that's not relevant nor Correct. legal to the. There has no and actually exactly. has no right to approve. Correct. One way and no or no right to approve or disapprove right. them being there. So once I got a hold of the property owner, um, the complaint was dropped as obviously Ms. Berger must have made some sort of arrangement or some agreement was come to where she was going to purchase the property so that the problem that the property owner had where she didn't want that visual or noise or whatever else to impede the sale of her property, which I completely understand, was no longer an issue because obviously Ms. Bergen must have, she, they must have come to an agreement mm -hmm. where Ms. Bergen was going to buy the property, so the animals being there were no longer a value detriment to the property. So... That's the only previous complaint I had on the property. Okay, so you've only been out till how many times in the last few months? In the last few months, three times. It, I've been out to her property twice on inspections previous, but those were all routine. Okay, so in the times that you you indicated that you didn't hear the roosters. That's correct. Okay, did you have Sometimes any? Two times I was on the property, I did not hear the roosters. Um, two times when I was on the property, I could hear the geese. I did not hear roosters crowing. And I'll be completely honest, when you knock on Ms. Bergen's doors, I cannot hear the birds. You will hear two dogs bark loudly, scramble around the house. Obviously, they're, they're not pleased that someone is on their property, which I completely understand. That's a normal dog response. Okay, in your discussions with... Ms. Bergen, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, Ms. Bergen, were, were any suggestions as a health agent representing the town of Pembroke, did you make any suggestions yes. to help alleviate the situation? Yes. You said yes. Can you tell me what they were? Um, the roosters are housed in, in a single housing or two single housings. I suggested moving those housings to the other side of her property. I suggested, as the, the previous person that wanted to keep their rooster, soundproofing it and lining it with the, the Luan or the lightweight plywood on the inside so the rooster cannot eat the, the insulation and adding the vents. And, and by doing that and keeping them enclosed until the appropriate hours would eliminate the violation of the bylaw that, that potentially exists right now. Okay. And help me to understand your suggestion of moving the roosters to the other side. So 
I might be missing something. What what's the purpose? Sound of and distance. The longer the, the longer the distance, the from. less sound. Correct. The the fencing, that there's stockade fencing that goes halfway down the property to continue the stockade fencing will also eliminate any kind of blockage and any kind of distance decreases the amount of sound you're going to hear from anything. We have had again, I only have the one rooster that someone really wanted to keep, so they went to this length. Most people choose to just eliminate the rooster. Um, but again, she added fencing, she added the soundproofing, she moved the coop, she did all those things because she really wanted to keep that particular bird. Um, so the, that's the only successful situation I have personally you know, had dealings with. And when you made that suggestion to Ms. Burke in person, mm -hmm. email, phone? In person. I was okay. on her property performing, performing an inspection at that time, which she welcomed me to the property to take a look and see what was going on. And I haven't been out to the property, so I, I don't know if that's viable, you know, but I'm asked, what was your reaction to what our health agent suggested? That's completely reasonable. And I, and I have been working on it because before my animals had free range, so where she's saying, like, they're more than half, they're over 100 feet. They can't even come closer than 100 feet to the house because last November, after I moved the barn, I put up a big, not stockade fence, a big wire fence that's six feet tall keep them in the backyard. So they're not up near her fence line. They're literally in near, the woods. Near your neighbor's yes. fence line. They're literally in the woods in the back of my property. Okay. And the properties are very large. I don't know how. No. It's three quarters of an acre. I mean, they're literally sitting, like if I were to show you on the map, they're in a perfect little half circle on the back line of the property, okay. like within a foot of the fence. So are, are you considering moving the? There's one that I would actually need a machine to come in. Okay. I'll, I'll ask you again. Are you considering I moving? Have, yeah. So that's a yes. It's more. I just gotta figure out what kind of machine to do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's something that potentially would be done. Could you show me on the map, or show? Yeah, can you actually give me? So the fence has got to be about here. So there's a pen here, but it's empty because that's the goose. I built a goose house to keep the goose in, so they're quiet at night, um, and then they're like. Just kind of along the fence. Actually, they're not even that far up. And then they go like that. So where is where are your roosters staying? At There's night? one. It's this one that makes the noise. There's one that's in my barn, but that barn gets completely closed up because there's plenty of room, so I don't have to worry. You can't hear him. And then there's a mini one here and a mini one here. And this is your name. This is. This is them. Yeah. But again, our houses are up here. Yeah. Right. So exactly. But I, I guess. Um, in my neighbor who lives Robert. here, they're yeah. in the same exact space, mm -hmm. and they have no complaint whatsoever either. Right. So but they're maybe, the same exact distance right. away. So Robert, well, what Lisa said is longer distance is a right. quieter noise. So I'm looking at this. So this is 98, which is where Robert lives, right? Right. Okay. So, so right here. Robert's got two pens here. Right. But then this side has the trees. There's trees over here. There's no trees over here. But what I'm saying is he doesn't hear them or have a problem with them. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But you've totally, the majority. There's not even that many. There's, I was oh, doing a few extra. Okay. okay. You did a few extra. These, well, okay. This bird doesn't make any noise. This bird doesn't make right. any noise. I mean, this, this, right. this is, this is. Andrew Drive and it backs up to Dead Man's Land anyway. Okay, so there's the tree buffer. What I'm saying is that maybe there's a lot of encroachment over here on this one person's right. property who is basically reaching out for help mm -hmm. and assistance because we want to make this nice. And Robert, who doesn't seem to have a problem, I guess I'm kind of thinking this is the rooster. Yeah, Mr. We're going to move it. Well, he has this one over here, so but that's what we were saying. We're going to move it. Mm -hmm. But then our property lines, where this is the actual property line, our, our fence just goes straight. So, like, this part of my property is crossed off because mm -hmm. the neighbor took it. And then even this side. So, it's like even further. So, this wood's all right here. This mm -hmm. is all woods back here. Right, but it's not, it's not, it's not helping. Right. It's not helping the situation that they're saying. What time do you get up in the morning, Monday through Friday, and what time are the roosters let out? I've been doing sex because once you let them out, they don't make a peep because they got what they wanted. 
see how they want it. Okay. But even if they do throw them away, it's not like they say they go all morning and I'm like, I sleep with my windows open. I don't have AC. Mm -hmm. Like I've recently just put an AC in, but I have my I leave my window open now just to see if I can handle. And you but might that's, get like one or two. That's Saturday and Sunday. No. That's not um, like Monday through week. Friday. I leave my window open so I can see if I can hear them. But you're gone at okay, what 6 time? At 6.30. At 6.30. Mm -hmm. And you've let them out. Yes. But that doesn't have anything to do with the fact that when, I would think, and I'm just looking at, this is, God love you. Um, I'm just looking at the number of dogs. And I would like to clarify something. Um, and I go back to social media. How many dogs do you have residing on that property? Right, right now, now there's four. One is a foster. There's four and one is a foster. So that's three of your dogs and one is a foster? Okay. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, there was something that we were looking for fans. Yes. Because you had five dogs. I had us babysitting my friend's dog who's in Ireland. You were babysitting. Okay. That was a puppy. Okay. The dogs don't walk. Okay. But I would think when the dogs start barking. The animals are used to the dogs. Well, the, it's when they. they the ducks are they new. Also have the, a cat. I know. The, the, the ducks, ducks are new. The, well, the geese. I'm sorry. The geese. I, I got to get my. Those are different from partridges and pheasants. Yes. Geese. How many geese? Two. Two geese. So two geese. Two. Okay. Four dogs. Two geese, mm -hmm. two goats, thirty chickens, yes. ten ducks, yes. four partridges, yep. and three pheasants. Two pheasants and a guinea hen. And a guinea hen. And yes. five roosters. And five roosters. The roosters are included in the chickens. And not thirty chickens. Oh, because those are roosters and chickens considered the same. Yeah. Roosters are chickens. Roosters are chickens. It's by, just by male versus female. Okay. I'm, hens, okay. hens and roosters, but they're okay. All That's okay. Okay. Oh my. Wow. I love you. Go ahead. And a lot of them are special needs and rescues. I have a question for Donna and Rich. Um, so clearly, I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at a letter from the Smiths. Mm -hmm. You're not the Smiths. Mm -hmm. From the Smiths who are. I'm happy. You have a you have a letter. I'm looking at a spreadsheet, if you will, that Ms. Bergen presented about from three neighbors who are not saying they're happy, but they're not unhappy. One of the neighbors is indicating yes, they hear the roosters sometimes. You came here, and uh, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I think you said you came before the board seeking relief. I guess my question would be, if I were to ask you point blank, what would you like to see happen? Clearly your neighbor has lots of livestock, uh -huh. and they're probably very important to her, and uh, I don't want to say they're part of her livelihood, but this, this is something that she spends a great deal of effort and probably some heart and soul. We didn't want to. We didn't want it to come to this, but we I, do I want the that. roosters going. But, uh, so yes. what yes. would... She's got, as she quoted, almost 50 animals. We're only looking for five to leave. The five, can I please play this for one minute? This is the rooster sounds. But this is when you walk up on okay. the property. Okay. I, this is my property, Caitlin. So this is what, you're making me a okay. prisoner of my own home. But this is daytime. This isn't even relevant. Well, we got one at four in the morning, too. Okay. But, so... I'm sorry. If you were answering my question, not if you evaded, but if it were up to you and you had a choice, you're saying you're not looking to have, you're not looking for some type of situation where the noise of the roosters, and I don't want to say alleged, I haven't heard them, our health agent hasn't heard them, but roosters do make noise. Yes, they do. Uh, you're not looking to have the noise of them mitigated. You're asking that those five roosters be removed yes. if it were up to you. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, back to what she said too quickly. It's, um, yeah, the round one. Uh, again, with Facebook, I, I made a friendly post in 2015 
asking people what they would do. Did you say a friendly post? Yeah. On Facebook? Yes. I, I, would, I would argue no you, such you thing. You can see that. <laughs> okay. This shows that we have discussed this since 2015 about ways to, there's even a part in there talking about the collar. I've discussed with her about the collar. There's some LOL. You don't have to read it all. I just it's, it's the just, LOLs that make me think it's a joke. It, it, well, it's not a joke when I'm saying get rid of the roosters. I'm trying to be pleasant. I'm trying to be neighborly so that we can resolve this as neighbors so that we don't have to do this. I mean, for God's sakes, Caitlin, you were at our house Christmas Eve a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. We've done birthday parties. It shouldn't have right. Excuse me. Come to this. The fact of the matter is, is that there is a bylaw, a noise yeah. section seven. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> noise <laughs> disturbance. Um, the health agent recommended. using Luan insulation. She, when she stated you went after conversation, you said you didn't want to use that type of material. Well, insulation is toxic, so instead I'm adding cedar shingles to the outside. Mm -hmm. So every time you put on a shingle, there's three layers of wood. So I'm adding three layers of wood, basically, to the outside to muffle the noise in because the insulation is not healthy. Because they're they pack. Mm -hmm. The bug lands on it, they're going to pack. Once they see one little piece of insulation Right, off, that's why you line the inside with the with the, with the, the lightweight plywood. You, you actually line the inside. Right. Remember how many then inside. they can't get the other Yeah, no. I'm just I saying can't that's physically get in there. Okay. Like, yep. The birds are too small. Like, I can't get in there to do that. So, therefore, that's why I, <clears throat> I was taking it from the outside mm -hmm. and putting it all on the outside mm -hmm. is what I'm working on, which mm -hmm. I have pictures that I started. So you said the majority of these animals are rescues and um, abused dogs? Yes. Abused animals? Okay. Are you um, certified to have a rescue sanctuary? Um, it's basically the I mean, <coughs> dogs are not going to get adopted by anyone else, like an autistic dog. We just say he does not English good. Mm -hmm. If he's going to do stuff, you're going to tell him no, and he's still going to do it. Right but he's comfortable in my home. Right, and and I'm sure that there are, right now, 50 more animals out there. Right. No, I'm maxed out financially. Okay, because yeah. I, that was where I yeah, was no. going at I'm the like next at step, limit. because... That's why I can't even... Well, I may not them. have animals. I have right. a dog and a cat, or I had a cat. I don't have a man, I have a dog. I can only imagine how much it costs you to feed these animals. The chickens. Use the egg money. Use the egg money. How many eggs. dozens of chicken? I mean, how many dozens of I get about eggs? a dozen eggs a day. A dozen but eggs a day. But the reason I use the roosters is because then you get fertilized and you get chicks. So when you have that, then I can sell those for ten dollars a bird. The baby chicks are ten dollars each, and that money gets put away for winter time when I need to pay. Because a lot of times in the winter time. I get like two, three eggs a day. So that's kind of the overage from the summer, from the breeding, is how I pay to get the rest of the chickens through the winter. So the more roosters in your thought process, right. in, no, your, in your business, the more... four breeds. Right. four breeds. Or I have three now. Okay. But then you get more... The more roosters you have, the more chickens they can... No, they need to breed once. Like with one chicken, they need to breed once, and they're fertilized for two weeks. So every egg for those two weeks is fertilized. So you don't. Okay. So if you have, and I'm just kind of picturing now. I know that five roosters are part of the 30 chickens, so I have 25 chickens, and I, I, I'm, I'm a country girl, but I'm not a farm animal person. You have 25 chickens running around. You have five roosters. You have a, give me a specific type of a rooster. Um, blue raised red. Blue raised. Blue raised red. Okay, so this blue one, raised red, okay, you now want to go out and have it fertilize mm -hmm. a chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay, but all your chickens are out during the day. 
when that blue one comes out and does what you are looking for it to do, I'm trying to, I'm on camera, right. folks, I'm <laughs> trying right. my best. Do what it wants to do. If you're at work all day, how do you know that that blue one hasn't gone around and gotten the green one? Because they're, they're in specific cases. Uh, but they're separate cages. They're in separate cages. Yeah. They're, they're, she has a large back fenced in area, and then within that area, she has subsect cages with mini coops so that if she wanted to put, say, a certain number of breeded hen with a certain rooster, she could keep them separate from all the rest of the flock throughout the day. All the rest, so somebody else would. Oh, okay. Because okay. Okay. that to me was what was. Right really kind of really confusing me was the fact that you get all these chickens running around and this one's hen and there's another you know but five was just a lot was just the three are minis and the other big one it's is still in the barn. They're but so he's in the very, barn. It's like it's almost like a squirrel nose where it's very like squeaky but softer when they're little. So it's like a But they're gonna grow up. No. No they're they're too too I can I can actually play this and you'll be able to hear the little one. Well this Two, there's a big one, a little one, and two minis. Oops, sorry. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,001. This is a lot of the day. No, it is. It is. Because only when you walk by their cages. This is during the day. Yes, and I understand that the, but this is a nuisance. But she can't walk by their cages. I can't but go on my she, desk. She walks out into the woods to get to their cages. Do you see how I'm in the woods? Yeah, this is in her backyard. But she's looking down. She's still got their attention before the video started. I'm on my deck. I hang out in my yard all day long, and I don't have to listen to that. Just and but on the weekends, uh, my right, roost is not quiet on weekends because they know it's Saturday and Sunday. Right. I can be outside with my friends all day making, like, I can sit on the deck and I don't hear them crow. I only hear them crow once in a while. Like, this is the area behind. Like, there's no, mm -hmm. nothing there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is me on my deck. This is in my house. What time of the day is this? That's about 10 in the morning. Why would a rooster crow during the day? Rooster they, crows they, at they all times. They're predators. No, it's well, they've got, they, they have lots of friends. Too, yeah, so team, one crows, the other one's like, almost not. like, yeah, listen mm -hmm. to this one. Oh, yeah, listen okay, to this one. Hold up the pictures of the cat in the yard. Their cat comes over my fence. I've saved their cat's life I don't even know how many times because their cat comes in my yard, and I have four dogs, three of which I don't know how they do with cats. Like, I'm lucky I've saved this cat so many times for coming in my yard. Okay. I literally have to run as fast as I can, grab their cat, and throw it over the fence. Mm -hmm. Like this cat is constantly. She sits. She has tons of pictures. So when the cat when the cat hops over the fence, do does everybody get everyone all, gets every, all, all their yes. all their feathers get ruffled. And they have wild turkeys in their backyard because they throw all sorts of food out in the woods. So they have wild turkeys that come through every single morning, hobbling and hobbling and hobbling. I know, but wild turkeys are all over the town. But the yes, it doesn't and I, matter whether you it feed them or not. Me. But they get my animals going. Mm -hmm. So, and then she was complaining that she has fisher cats. They leave their grill open overnight every night after cooking dinner. That's why they have fisher cats. They have cat food on their back deck. So, they're complaining like everything they're doing, they don't realize is influencing what my animals are doing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not saying they have to be quiet, but yes, if you sit there for three hours and shoot off pellet guns, of course my animals aren't going to be quiet. I have two in the house hiding 24-7 because one's been shot. The other one it wasn't shot by us. No, not by them. No, and then the other one. Well, they must have had a, they must have had a horrible time with the fireworks. Oh yes, that's what all my fans, all my fans got blown apart mm -hmm. because you can't really stop it. Mm -hmm. But this is so, the thing she's asking us to be prisoners in our own home and not enjoy our backyard then, without getting her roosters in them. But my animals get upset when they're shooting guns in the backyard. It's like 
I have never once complained to them about it because I know it's their hobby. Do what you want, but if you shoot one of my animals, I'm going to have a problem. That and, never happen. And I have I have pellets Not that have us. come into my yard because they ricochet. You, so you got lead pellets that are Not ricocheting. Not lead. I don't know whatever you guys are shooting. They're plastic. Whatever those no, things are. We have metal lead pellets. They've been coming in my backyard. Caitlin. How long ago? One year. Okay. We're here to talk about the roosters, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And clearly there have been some other things that have come up. Cats, and, and, and I don't want to get too much into it. I don't want to digress because this isn't what the board is here to talk about. But I, I am just curious, and I, I'd like to hear you very briefly, 30 seconds. I, I just heard guns, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just so... Mm -hmm. just, They're not firearms. But what are we talking about? Is This is a family... What's yeah. going yeah. on here? My father Cans. comes over, and we should, we plink cans in the backyard. With I have guns. a target with a BB gun, with a pellet gun. Okay. okay. Pellets mash and against you, the thing and you drop inside the... You so you have a pellet gun? Cans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do they all go crazy? No, we have. I have a few pellet okay. guns. Okay. Rick, when you shoot the cans... When you're out there at target practice, when you start shooting, mm -hmm. what happens next door? It's they never go crazy. I it's the same steady. This is the I, video. I don't what see they do? The animals going crazy when we do that. And what I can do is, we the next time we do it, we can videotape it for you. The next time I have my dad over firing off pellet guns, we'll, we'll, no. what we'll do is we'll videotape it. The police have agreed that you guys aren't allowed to do that anymore. Actually, no, they haven't because there's no law against it, and good luck getting one. There's no law against Okay, we're gonna pellets. we're gonna leave yeah. any type of pellet gun <coughs> or agree. any further conversation about pellet gun up to the Pembroke Police Department. Fantastic. What I would suggest if there is an issue for you I leave walk right across the street. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's not what we're gonna talk about. We've gotta discuss the five roosters. Mm -hmm. I'm continuously working on it. I also talk, told her I'm going to do the bamboo along the back left side because that grows 10, 15 feet, no, 15 feet tall, which she said, perfect sound barriers. That on top of the fence, it's going to keep most of it in my yard. I'm still working on moving because I don't have money to get a machine in my yard to move that last coop because it's too big. So I've already done so many things. I've planted other trees just to muffle even so my dogs won't see her if they come in the backyard because their property is above mine. So even when they come in my yard, I put up trees. Like, I've been actively working to work on this. And this was without a complaint. I was doing all this on my own. Okay. So I have been trying everything. And you, they, you. Don't, they don't realize that it's a lot of what they do in their yard. Like, yes, it's cute when the kids crow over the fence. But of course it's going to get the birds growing. Okay, well, I have a question for you. Earlier, if I understood our health agent, she made a suggestion of moving one of the roosters right. Mm -hmm. If I did, I just hear you say that you're talking about doing different things, <coughs> putting in bamboo. But you said you are not able to or I not going to move this particular rooster's home. No, I said I need to get a machine. It literally needs to be picked up with like forklifts. Okay. So I have to get the money to get the machine to get back there to move to the other side of the yard. Okay. So it's something you are okay. planning on doing. Yes. Okay. So give me a timetable. I'm one person working. Oh, they have a two-person household. I have I'm not person. asking about them. I'm right. asking when I you think. I have a one-person household. I understand that. And you also have taken on and assumed a lot of responsibility by having this animal. Mm -hmm. So a simple and question. When do you think this barn... I'm hoping by the end of the summer if I can get a machine You're hoping by the end of the, the, end of the summer. Yes. Is that the end of August, end of September? I don't probably, know. It would have to be probably September. The end of because September. $100 the end of September? Yes. So we're talking eight weeks. Okay. Lisa, on yes. the insulation that you recommended, and mm -hmm. I'm not going to mispronounce it, Caitlin, or try to pronounce it, Caitlin mentioned that she is given, I don't know if it's because of the size or the way that the home is constructed. The coops are all enclosed with small doors, so I understand what she's saying. To get to the inside of the coop would necessitate removing one of these roofs in order to perform that kind of work. So the roof would have to be removed. I would, I would think so. Okay. All right. That doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means it's more work. Okay. I, I just feel that it's what I'm looking at here on paper and We have five roosters. One rooster could be enough to 
brewing 30 years worth of friendly, being friendly with your neighbor. Like I you said, have I don't a agree very with what they do in their yard, but I let them do it. Right, but it, but you I just go around my day. You shouldn't and change it. You, you well, first of all, feeding, drawing breadcrumbs or food outside is only going to bring a nuisance mm -hmm. to their yard. Right, you should bring the wild turkeys, which is going to have repercussions. My animal's going to be louder. Poop so in their in their own yard mm -hmm. that they can not clean up or clean up. The pellet gun, not my issue. It's not our department. My, my, see, that's not my issue. It's the noise. They make noise, so then my yard makes noise. Right, but... So they're it, allowed it, to do it, what they want, but I can't do what I want. It's kind of... Well, you you are... You, from what I'm, what I'm looking at, you have created a uh, menagerie of a rescue and you're selling mean? eggs and making chickens. Mm -hmm. You're making chicks to be able to sell for a profit. Mm -hmm. And you're selling eggs. <coughs> what do you do with the goats? They just hang out. They just hang out. So you're not no, in no, the no, goat no. milk? No. Okay. So we, okay. The ducks? They just hang out. They just hang out. They the lay geese? Eggs. They lay eggs. We sell their eggs. So. Goose eggs. No. Duck, duck eggs. eggs. Those are the blue ones. Yes. Okay. Partridges? They're just pretty little birds. Sell their eggs. I sell their eggs, but there's one that just okay. eggs. And pheasants. Same thing. Pretty birds. Pretty birds. Okay. What happens? What's today? Monday. Wednesday. Somebody has a farm animal that needs rescuing. I would refer them to someone else if I had no problem. Okay. So you know yourself yes. you don't have any more room or you don't have enough money. money. Right. You don't have enough money to feed them. But right. what if you were funded as a rescue I or I don't even have time to clean anybody else. I, I know what I can do for animals. Mm -hmm. And where are you finding these rescues? Usually it's Facebook. People message me on Facebook. Okay. I have a reputation of taking in animals that no one else wants. Okay. Do you clear their health status? Yes. They all stay quarantined before they see my other animals. Okay. They're quarantined, but do they, are they like the dogs that were rescued? Are they, <coughs> they up to date in, with their yes. rabies? They come, I How do you verify that? Like with um, the ones I had a mother and five puppies that came from a drug dealer. They had to go through, they came from a different state, so therefore they had to pass that state recognition. They had to come to our state. Then they get help here for two days, where they get another full check, and then they come to me. And everyone has to be fully vetted in quarantine. Like, they get quarantined. It's a quarantine process of two weeks mm -hmm. before they can even come up here. Then when they get up here, they get quarantined again, and then they come to my house. Okay, and then those those puppies, you got their vaccinations? And I don't do that. Well, actually, I did. I them there. I go through an organization. It's Survivor Tales. And I okay. go through them. So they pay for all that. I literally am just the house and the caretaker. Okay. So and you have one child? I have one. This is a three bedroom home? Two bedroom. Two bedroom home. There's nothing wrong with the basement. Okay. Okay. Um, and you said that the rooster comes in the house? I had a rooster in the house. She yeah. got poked in the eye. He got poked in the eye, so he had to come in the house and stay in the basement. Okay. So but him. he was her pet. No, that one slept outside. No, he slept outside. If you left yeah, the door oh, open, he would come in the house. Yeah. If you leave the door open, they come inside to find you. Like mm -hmm. they're they're pets. Okay. Um. Well, does anybody have anything else that they would like to add? What kind of resolution are we looking at? And when? And if I could, because there is one major part that my animals have gotten noisy. I live on Manakeesa Street. You know the road construction. They've dug up in front of my house nine different times. That makes my animals go nuts because they they have. You know, I'm getting too chickeny. 
they have sensors in their legs, basically like a human gland, they have sensors in their legs, they can feel vibrations. Those trucks drive them nuts all day long. But again, <coughs> home Saturdays and Sundays, they don't make a peep. I asked my neighbor Donna, they don't make a peep. I asked Scotty across the street, they don't hear them. I asked Lou on the other side, Lou doesn't hear them. The people across from me, is, and people say I don't live in a horse area, there's three massive Clydesdales that live directly across the street from me. We're in a farming area. There's horses, I mean, also the other chickens down yeah. the side the street. There's so a, we are in a farm, other. we are in a farm community. We have farms all over the place. Mm -hmm. We have a noise ordinance. Right. Five roosters, way over the decibel that anybody should have to deal with. But they're As not a now. neighbor, you're on Mattachusett Street. When the trucks are gone, there's going to be something else going on. There's going to be another reason for that noise is going to happen. Um, it, 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 it's, you, you're, you're both on a major route, right. okay? So, with that being said, yes, the trucks are rolling. Mm -hmm. But when they stop rolling, it's going to be something else. No, because then my backyard is quiet. My backyard is quiet if there's no trucks going by. Like, she was there for a half an hour. A complete stranger was able to walk through my entire yard and not a single one peeped. It's because they like to sneak up on the fence and take videos. Well, you're yeah. making accusations that you can't. You no, because she admitted it on Facebook. And she posted the video of her standing in the woods behind my house. And yes, technically she was on her side of the fence, but my property line goes past the fence. So technically she was on my property. But I'm just saying, where the kids are noisy, these are kids. In my opinion, animals are kids. Like, people can say it's not all they want, but I'm not having any more kids. You know why? Because I can afford one. I'm not on welfare. I'm a single income household. Mm -hmm. So everything I do is me. I build those groups myself. Every, my daughter builds them. It's a hobby that my daughter and I share. Mm -hmm. This is time that she could be out doing who knows what with her friends. No, she's choosing to be home with her mother and her pets. Mm -hmm. I have plenty of property. As you can see, you're I'm not... Well, you're you're on three quarters of an acre. Right. We're not talking about two but we're acres of about land. Noise. If the neighbors make noise, my animals are going to make noise. <coughs> so they're allowed to make noise, but I'm supposed to be quiet because I don't want to disrupt the neighbors? No, it's animals. We have wild turkeys that are gobbling. If she could complain to someone about those, she would. She quit smoking a month ago. That's when the complaints started. I'm seriously about to stop throwing stop. cigarettes on the fence. Stop. Stop. That was that was that was uncalled for. No, but having to live next to this, where they're nice to my face, and then no, yeah, no, no, this no, 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 no. There's no conspiracy. This both, and I and said it from the beginning. I, and I and said like, it from the beginning. The downfall for both parties was you just took it to you took it to social media because I needed to figure out who it was. That's when it started. Well, you know what? So before that, I didn't know who it was, so I had no idea who I'm supposed to please. But like I'm saying, you can't, but they you make can't, noise you in their yard. They're allowed to make noise, you, but I'm not. You can't please. You have a you have a barn. I have yard tried. <laughs> full of, of, of animals. animals. You cannot control though. You can't control the animals. I can't control the wild turkeys either. Well, we're not asking you to and control the crows, wild turkeys. The crows. They're constantly. Wait, wait, you can't. But I'm saying she would complain about that if there was somebody no, to complain you, to. You've it's lived there. You've lived there. One year, and I plan to live there as a homeowner. Home. And I'm sure that they, years. as a homeowner, you were a tenant. Okay, mm -hmm. not that you didn't care, but you were asked to remove. And then you'll see, I was asked. I, it was told I did not need to. Okay, I was only told that, and then that man in question, who was, he ended up getting fired because he wasn't even watching the property. And that was after he gave me permission. Okay. And then he did a whole bunch of hack job on the house, yeah. so he ended up getting in trouble for it. So, okay. yes, I bought the house. Yeah. I deserve to buy the house. You I deserve, deserve no one is saying not to, de you deserve to him have animals. You deserve to be allowed to have pets. This, Caitlin, is a farm. It is. This and is I have a, every this right is to. This, it's in the Constitution. Farming is in the Constitution. That well, is everyone's right. We are right. not a right. We are it's not a right to farm. 
We were not a right to farm community. It has not it been approved. It just got voted at town meeting. It is not yet approved by the attorney not general. To but there's a very important thing yet. that everyone right. seems to forget with the right. right to farm. The right to farm is not the right to do as you will. Right. It's a right to farm. But noise seen my yard. Excuse me. And I follow excuse, every rule. excuse me. Excuse me. We had this conversation already, right. and I'm going to have it now for the last time. The noise ordinance stands. Mm -hmm. You have the right to farm. Right. You may keep your birds silent mm -hmm. from dusk until 7 a.m. on the weekdays mm -hmm. and dusk and 8 a.m. on the weekends. If you cannot, mm -hmm. you leave this office, myself as an officer of this town, and these people on this board, no choice but to enforce the regulation. Right. The fact that Pembroke is right to farm does not take no, away. I'm saying it's in the Constitution, not it, and I'm even not the Constitution does not take away Pembroke's right to enforce a no noise ordinance. That I understand. Okay, but so I we're in, we're in a hundred percent. We're in a hundred percent agreement. Yes, the birds will be quiet mm -hmm. until seven or eight a.m., depending on the day, or this office will start finding you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm working on. And just so the, the, so that you nice folks understand, the birds crowing during the day. Is not against the law. Just like a barking dog during the day, it's not against the law. Just like shooting a pellet gun during the day is not against the law. And making noise during the day and mowing the lawn, running lawn mowers and other pieces of equipment that make lots of, of noise, all appropriate during the day hours. Because there is a noise ordinance that has nothing to do with animals mm -hmm. in the Pembroke zoning bylaws, which if you do make noise after 10 p.m. and before certain hours of the morning, it is every citizen's right to call Pembroke Police and they will come out and tell you to stop making that noise at the inappropriate time, whether it be music, kids playing, or any other kind of noise. That all falls into that. The reason there's a separate ordinance for animals is to specifically address A, barking dogs, and B, in this case, roosters. Mm -hmm. There's not, I, I would never presume to tell this board what to do, but I will advise this board that there's never been an exception made to this. If the animals cannot be kept quiet during appropriate quiet times, this board will have no choice but to take action. It, it really is that simple. And we've, we've taken that action in the past. Yes, we have. Unfortunately, the animals But are we agreeing that if I do the installation on the outside of groups? If the animals can be heard during quiet hours, then enforcement action will be taken. But they need air. Like if the animals, I understand. How you want to solve that problem is completely at your discretion. Mm -hmm. I've told you how one individual solved the problem. Yes. I've told you how all the other individuals have chosen to solve yes. that problem. You may solve this problem however creatively, and, and I give you a hundred ideas to try. If the animals can be heard during quiet hours, I as an agent of this town have no choice but to take out my ticket book and start writing you fines every day. I really don't want to be at your house at four in the morning. I really don't. I really don't want to be at your house at 10 o'clock at night. I made that clear to you. I want to help you. I want to see you succeed. I've been doing the best thing. I, I, I didn't say you haven't. Right. I didn't say you haven't been doing the best you can. I've told you, I want you to succeed. I want you to be successful. But just like a police officer across the street, I'm an agent of this town and an enforcement officer of this town. I cannot ignore the law. I, I can't tell these people, sorry, she's doing the best she can, so we're going to ignore the law and not apply it to her. I, but I can't do that. Point, so if they hear one crow once a year, then one, one crow once a year. I don't think anyone's right. going to flip out over one crow once so a year. So we don't know if all these videos they're taking are from that exact second, or if it's randomly, or if they just get one thing and they're just cutting it in half, so it sounds like a whole bunch. The video that was online is one continuous video. Right. That's for sure. Caitlin. So that um, the board the only thing that the board really needs to decide is how long to give you to come into compliance. Yeah. I don't live next to you. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't want to live next to you. That's my own personal opinion. However, I applaud what you're doing in your home and I think you have the right to do so and I give you a lot of credit I God bless you for all those animals you have reiterating what our health agent said and I've, I've got the noise ordinance right in front of me and although the uh, iPad video that was taken during the day the noise ordinance talks about specifically 7 a.m. you know the birds must be quiet prior to 7 a.m. And the health agent is absolutely right in terms of writing fines. If I were you, and I'm not, but if, if I were you, I would absolutely do whatever I could to move that, I'm going to call it a pen, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're calling it. 
And so it's kind of a pen. Okay. I would move that yesterday. I would not move it eight weeks from now. And I understand this finances. I get it. I'm just saying you love your animals. You'd like to be able to keep them. We do have to enforce the noise ordinance. I, I would move it yesterday. I'm not telling you to. I'm not ordering you to. I'm saying if I were you, that's what I would do to see if we can move this forward in a positive direction. All the other things we heard, and unfortunately, and in a previous town that I used to live in, I was actually, I was what's called a fence viewer. And I was charged with settling disputes amongst neighbors over fencing issues. And it got ugly. And I don't want it to get any more uncomfortable than it already is. And, and I'm sure it's uncomfortable for both sides. So I, I think you need to, as quickly as possible, do whatever you can to yeah, get yeah, those I roosters. Have, I've added doors to everything. Like, okay, everything well, and, and Lisa did say that she's been out there and they can fly it, but I, I think, and I don't want to speak for her, but she's probably going to be a little more diligent in terms of going out there. So I would do whatever you can ASAP. You know, I'd like to see you move that, and I think, you know, I'm not saying you're throwing the bone to your neighbors, but I think that would be a step in the right direction. And, and I know you want to see the roosters removed, and that's not what I'm saying should be done at this juncture. But that's I, 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 they're not going to be happy until they're Well, you don't know that. No, you, no, you, because now, see, what you've done is the refugees and you have come in front of this board. Now it's our responsibility to make sure that you two aren't doing anything to annoy, mm -hmm. along with the police, each other, right. and each other's family, friends, pets, air quality, noise quality. So now we're involved. So now we have to basically say we're going to give you a time frame. You notice that you have a great company favor and shirt. I don't know how long you've worked there. There's a lot of great guys and women who go into your business that may very well be more than happy to help you out sooner rather than later. Right. But I can okay. also beg you. You're not begging them for money. You're not begging them. You're asking them to help you in your flight. Okay? For you guys, we need to ask that you allow a time frame for to see if this will accomplish anything. Okay? There's a lot of um, accusations that have been made in front of this board that I think is emotionally stirred. I think frustrations are very high. Um, the kids play together. Not anymore. And, and you, you know what? That really saddens me. That really saddens me. Okay. But here nor there. I think that a reasonable time frame, and Gary, I don't know if you have in your head a time frame, um, but I don't think it really can go on for any great length of time. My if opinion I, is... If I might, <coughs> I work 6.30 in the morning, 4 mm -hmm. o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Like anyone else who wants to hold my other stuff I need to do. Right. My daughter plays sports several hours a week. Mm -hmm. Saturdays, usually we have a party, which means I have one day to get all this stuff done. Like, so wait, you're saying eight weeks? That's eight days that I have to get all this done. It could very well be easier to get rid of just the roosters than to have to build all that. And then I can't afford the rest of my animals over the winter time, so I just get rid of them all. It took a long time for me to get here. Caitlin, we've lived here for 16 years and then never had an issue with any neighbors. You're older. You got a head start. I just got this. Yeah, I no. I worked really hard to get here. 
I doubt how hard you worked. And I applaud the fact that you rescued these animals too, but the roosters have to go. See, they're not even giving me a chance. We've two given and you half years two and a half years, years of chance. And, and excuse me, this is coming before the board tonight for the first time. Yeah. So I can appreciate yeah. his neighbors two and a half years, but I'm hearing this tonight for the first time. Mm -hmm. I hope, I'm going to look right, look at both of you, I hope Caitlin gets to keep the roosters. I do. I do. That's my personal opinion. But I also hear what you're saying as neighbors, and I think Caitlin needs to do everything in her power to keep those roosters quiet so the noise ordinance does not have to be enforced. So I want to create a win-win. I'm not speaking for Madam Chair. I love that idea. Yeah, so it's a win-win. I'm not prepared. You know, we're here to, we will, what will determine it if Ms. Bergen can keep the roosters will be if she can keep them quiet. So, Caitlin, I hope you can keep them. Um, I sympathize and I hear your schedule, but this two and a half years, even though I'm hearing this for the first time, they have been, I don't want to say allegedly implied that you're not telling them to, but they've been inconvenienced for a while. So the fact that you work a lot, the fact that you said you're single mom, you've got a lot on your plate. You now have to say you love your roosters, you love what you've created for yourself, great. You now need to do what's in your power and take seriously what you're hearing from the board and from the health agent. So you want to break it down and say eight weeks is only eight days? I'm not going to say too bad. I'm not going to be, I don't want to be mean to you, but you need to take it seriously because it has now come before the board. And we will, through our health agent, enforce the noise ordinance. So you know the time before 7 a.m. and before, before 7 a.m. during the week, before 8 a.m. Saturdays and Sundays. I know Lisa, I'm sure, has reviewed that with you. So it is now in your power to control what happens next. Is that, isn't, am I being clear? Because you have to, you have to take responsibility for them, and you can't muzzle them. You can't keep them indoors all day. You can't keep my noisy dog indoors all day. But I have one noise. Right. Um, they have a right, as you have a right. They're, they're but they're taking my right away because their they're right no, outranks mine. They are not taking over yours. Caitlin. Well, I'm not going to be happy if I get taken. Oh, it depends. I won't be able to afford it. Caitlin, we have told you you can keep your roosters at the moment. So they're not taking away your right, and neither is the board. If you do what you if you take the steps necessary, you will be able to keep them. But you do have to take some steps. And you have to abide by the law. And the roosters have to abide by the law. One rooster, two roosters, that was your choice. That was your choice. Mm -hmm. Now it's your choice. And, and I'm sure your daughter is going to be more than happy to help you to work towards it. There's a lot of good people in Pembroke who may be able to reach out and help you. Here. I gotta just go beg. Beg? Yes, that's right. What would it take to move it? A front end loader. How much does it weigh? It's gonna be a forklift. A forklift just gets steer would move it. I you didn't hear that. <coughs> it's move 14 it. feet tall. A skid steer will move it. I've seen it. A skid steer will move it. But they're still three, at least three to five hundred dollars an hour. Have you asked anyone? Yeah, I got my bond was supposed to cost a thousand, and I got it to do it for three hundred. Okay, but that's to get it a second favor, and I can't get a second favor. Madam Chair, we are meeting next week, which is the twenty fourth. Yes, we are. Lisa, can you look at your calendar for me? <laughs> Two weeks from the twenty fourth, so we're meeting yes, next week. Two weeks would put us on the seventh, which is a holiday. No, it's not. One, two. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the thirty-first. Two apologize. weeks or seven weeks. <coughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry. It was two weeks from today or two weeks from the twenty-fourth, right? Two weeks from the twenty-fourth. That would put us on the seventh. Two weeks from the twenty-fourth. It's not a holiday. 
Uh, this August seventh. Yeah, it might be Canada. Oh, it's a Canada holiday. That's right. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, wait, wait. We, 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 we can shun Canada. I get it. So seventh of August. And I'm also going away the twenty second through the twenty ninth. So it's seven days. Okay. Yes. So I think that um, you really have to put the rub it to the metal because we're gonna. I think. I think August seventh. We would like to revisit this. Okay, what's going to happen when you go away during your vacation? What happens to the animals? You have a house sitter. Okay. Okay. But you will need to advise <coughs> that they need. We have a seven to ten curfew. Mm -hmm. They're never noisy at night. No. That's just not true. I'm sorry. It's at just 10 o'clock? Not true. Yeah. No, not 10 o'clock. I've well, never heard them at 10 o'clock. They're 4 in the morning. 4 in the morning. Yes, that I'm saying I have heard that, but that's when the turkeys come through. So well, we can't stop right. We can't stop the turkeys. Right. We can't stop the turkeys. If we could stop the turkeys, I'd like to get them stopped on on um, Lake Street and on Dwelly Street. Okay, because right. they're they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. You stop them on Lake Street. Too? Absolutely, <laughs> but we can't stop the, that. That's the problem. We can't right. stop them. But I'm saying it's other noises that make them noisy. I know, it's but like if they're in animal. This is like soundproof, yeah, soundproof. Okay, they need to be mm -hmm. soundproof. So at four thirty in the morning, when they hear something, they're not really hearing it. Mm -hmm. That's why the soundproofing is extremely important. So that to me would be top on my list. You can mm -hmm. cut a nice little vent in there and put in a vent right. so they can have I did air. That. I've added vents to all of it, but it's the same it's an opening. So that's sure. where it gets tricky. Okay, so I think we've, I don't want to say exhausted, but I, mm -hmm. I, I think, uh, and I thank you all for coming before the board, and I know it's not easy. This isn't the first set of neighbors who have come before us and every, every time I feel bad we feel bad uh, and I yeah and, I'm, and I'm, I'm sure everybody does um, we have to do what we have to do and I, I want to put closure to this this evening but I think we need to revisit on the 7th no the 7th is not good for the 7th of August that's not good we'll for us we'll be out of state we well be it, that You're doesn't back. mean okay. that you need okay. to be okay. here Correct. we as a board mm -hmm. are going to revisit and re readdress and reevaluate this, this uh, what we've discussed this evening. We're going to have the health agent check on the progress. Mm -hmm. We are going to ask that under normal circumstances, I mean, if you're having an outdoor cookout and everybody starts getting all cackling and carrying on, you know, that's accept it's you would expect that. But I would like you to keep Sheila apprised. Mm -hmm. We'll keep a log. Lisa's going to stay in contact with you. I'm, I think that it's best that we have Sheila, the Rispucies, reach out to Sheila. Okay, so each person has somebody. Okay, and then we will reconvene. You won't have to be here. We will write a letter in regards to any findings that come about. But we need to see an effort to make peace. And if you, is there anything else anybody would like to add that is factual? Right. So basically any noise coming from my yard during the day is allowed. Because where she's complaining, she can't read her book during the day. That's allowed. We so are, I just, from the 10 p.m. There's no noise there restriction. There's no the noise restriction. Noise restriction. Exactly. There's no bylaw in, in the town of Pembroke that has a noise restriction during the day. Mm -hmm. I know because the people that tried to fight the gun club and the decibels and the all of everything else, it failed in court because there is no restriction on there's noise. There's no day. restriction. And then the other thing would be, again, I have a house sitter. She's not the person, well, she's the person who usually watches my house. Where she's going to be strict, these repairs I know are not going to be done before I go away because my one day to work on them is Saturdays and Sundays. And Saturday she has sports, but I can usually do a little bit then. But I'm literally leaving Saturday morning, so 
so I can't even work on it this weekend. So I'm just asking for a little leniency what I'm away. On the 7th of August, we are not going to be removing your five roosters. Mm -hmm. The health agent indicated the, the fine mechanism. We want, I don't want to speak for Madam Chair, <coughs> we want some progress being made. I, I'm not saying that you're giving us excuses. I'm not trying to be mean here, but I, I don't think I can say it in, other, in any other terms. We're going to revisit this on August 7th. We want some progress. That doesn't mean by August 7th everything has to be done. Yes. But it's now come before the board, Caitlin. Uh, the other thing is, as neighbors, you know, there's been a lot of conjecture that's been, you know, we, we've been fairly civil and I applaud you both, but there's been some things that I don't like to hear in neighbors. So between now and the 7th, I'm asking for some civility. Let's not, let's make sure that we, like this evening, try to keep it as civil as, civil as we can. Okay. I'm done. okay, so I'm going to make a motion that on um, August 7th we will revisit with an update from Lisa Cowardy as well as an update. Madam Chair, I just texted septic installers. I already have two gentlemen that have volunteered to take a look at the situation and help her. They're not looking for remuneration. They're looking to do a good deed and just get a little publicity. That's all they'd like. What is that? That, that was just that we'll was just ten buy. seconds. Yeah, we'll that, that was just ten seconds texting on my phone. And what did they want? I didn't hear you. They Nothing. just want. They just want. A, a, a thank just you. A, a, a you know, great big shout you, out. Good, good deal. Great big shout out. Thank you very much. They have skid steers. They have burly gentlemen. I, I, I I'm going to obviously have to have Caitlin get in touch, and mm -hmm. I'm going to have to have further conversations. But this, this was just ten seconds of texting right now. So, Caitlin, I, what, the reason I did this is I want you to understand there are people that will help you out. <laughs> But there are, people, there are people that get it. There's people that get it. Two of these gentlemen own livestock themselves. They totally get it. You know, for them to, to unload a skid steer and move something quickly is not a huge ordeal. Okay? So there are people that will give you a hand. It's not a big deal. All right? These guys own chickens, horses, and that kind of stuff. They get it. You know? It's 10 seconds worth of work for, Why for the right people help you them. like you help the animals? Think about that one. <laughs> they don't. That's why I have animals. But that's the point. Sometimes we all need help at points. We, we, we all need, you, no one No one gets through this whole gig on them, their own. Or at least, I, I don't know anyone who gets through this gig on their own. All right, so them. I'm going to make a motion um, that August 7th, when we reconvene here um, at the Board of Health, uh, Donna and Rick, you are going to stay in contact with an update mm -hmm. in regards to the situation between the hours of 7 p.m. And I mean, uh, 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Monday through Sunday. Lisa is going to deal directly with you and coordinate the help. We didn't get tons of um, horse manure removed. Um, we had an issue that came before the board that we needed horse manure to be removed for a family, and we were able to just blow the horn. That's all. You're going to deal with Lisa. The motion has been made. No, just as right. Do I hear a second? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So I want to make sure you have a copy. You, oh, yeah, you did. Did you move your papers? Yeah, you did. I just dropped it. It's right. It's right here. Oh, right Let them go, Rambo. No, no, it's right on top. I have. A, I've made. Has Sheila made a whole set for you. That's your stuff. That's yours. I have all the letters. I do. Thank you. I did not make Facebook, social media copies. I do not care about it. I think it is the demon. devil. It is the devil. Please stay off of Facebook. Um, I can't stress enough, nothing good will come of that. Caitlin, reach out to both of these gentlemen, then you're going to talk to me separately. I will be there. I will help you coordinate with them. Let them know that you were the person I was just chatting with them online, okay? Smith they're is across happy. the street from us. They're, they're right. happy. supposed to be doing my driveway. He's already doing the update. Okay. So while he's there, then let's not that. panic. Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. This was 10 seconds worth of texting, and I haven't gotten responses from the other two guys that have done things like that to help people out. Everyone knows what you're doing, okay? But I will remind everyone, social media is not your friend in this. This office got calls off of that on both of you. You, you had a first-hand look at what social media did to you online. Leave it alone. Let's work for a solution. There's nothing good going to come from Facebook. 
Yeah, nothing I know, good I comes off the several I've yet to see anything at that my off home. Right. Okay. Over, All right. Over roosters. And you. Right. So, so don't panic. Okay. There are solutions. Yes, it's work. Life is work. Yeah, I don't mind the work. I know the time. I know. Mm -hmm. Well, there's there's times and there's times. Okay. okay. Well, thank, thank you, you all, all for coming in. in. Thanks for having us. Um, and. Uh, Enjoy your vacation. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Is this your mature young daughter? Yes. She's a pretty good animal wrangler, too. I'll bet. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck with that. Oh, and I forgot to tell the board also the goat tried to eat my inspectional report. I was not amused. I think you Delightful. Are well. I, except I was. Except I was totally amused as he tried to eat it. Thank you. All right. Have a good night, Galen. Um, Right now, I'm going to, um, can you give us an update, Gary, on the plastic bag initiative? I was just going to say, we've covered almost everything yeah. else as I checked. That was the last thing I've got. I mean, actually tabling should we require a soil test for Title that 5 reminds exams. Me. I was in Plymouth just yester sure, yesterday or Sunday, I'll yeah. wait until midnight, yes. Yesterday I was in Plymouth picking up something so at a local retailer and they made the comment, well, at least they asked if I needed a bag, I said, no, 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 save the plastic bags, and they said, well, that won't be available much longer. Plymouth has voted to ban the plastic bags. Okay. All right. So closer and closer to home. Okay, so we're tabling the soil test Title V exam um, along with the animal fees. Gary, any update in to a possible subcommittee for plastic bag initiative? Um, not much of an update, Madam Chair, as I uh, made the suggestion at our meeting of June of forming a subcommittee in the fall to look at the potential ban of plastic bags for Pembroke. So um, I will probably enlist the support of our health agent, a couple of the selectmen, and my two colleagues on the Board of Health about the best way to, f uh, to look for volunteers who want to work on this effort. It, really? it, it's, 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 I think it's going to be a, a big undertaking, the subcommittee, to do it properly. So um, nothing really has been done okay. and probably won't until um, I'd like to suggest the town um, website because that's where we started with the... Um, I can absolutely write something up, send it to the yeah. board for a, a quick approval, and then ask Deb Wall to post it. Just an open solicitation by email if you would like to be involved, well, to please email I'll be us. coming in to see you uh, later this week. I was just going to say Thursday and Friday now look best. Please keep in mind after Tuesday the 25th, I am sorry I will be leaving again. I will be returning for just a scant week. Be gone for a week and a half in August. And after that, I promise the board I am done. I will be here. No worries. All right. With that, so unless we have something else further to discuss, um, I have scheduled our next uh, meeting for next Monday night, July 24th. I have a question. Yes. I'm just curious. Why are we meeting next week? Because I, I want to get back into the rotation. There's plenty for us to discuss. Fair enough. Um, and we've got a lot of um, changing T5s coming up. But if something changes, I'd be more than happy to look at rescheduling the meeting. Okay. Uh, with that being said, if there's nothing further to discuss right now, it is 826. I'd like a motion, making a motion to adjourn the meeting. Can you hear a second? I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Did you not like my Did delay? You no, no, your delay. <laughs> your delay oh, is. Is so isn't this endless? We exciting? Are we done? We are done.